if I listen, if I could lean on them the way the mob leans used to lean, trust me, I'd be on your neck. And you're gonna have to come up with your girls. So we have you and Karen. We have Carla, Carla, Ramona. Yes. I mean, we're not having Drita. I listen. Drita was great, but I don't think she's the end all be all. Just like yeah. I don't think I'm the end all or be all. No, At I'm just saying now. Day, you know what I mean? Like the show. The if, show's gonna go on. The without show's her. gonna yeah. go on without whether it was her, me. Carla, Karen, whomever. The show will go on. Yes. Because it doesn't mean something can't happen. It's like then when they say, oh, the show got canceled because Angela died. No, that's not why. And the show never got canceled. We ended it. Nobody canceled us. We could have come back. It just wasn't right. And then COVID hit. And then Harvey's situation hit. So it was like one thing after another after another. If they wanted us to come back, I... I, I originally didn't want to come back, but I would as a at different position in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not there. I'll always have drama because it just works so well for me. Yes. I thrive in chaos. However, now that I'm sober, I don't want to thrive in the chaos anymore. Well, that's why, I mean, there's, like, there's a way to do it. Like, I mean, Girls Trip, Mob Wives Edition. You'll have to talk to them. I MTV, VH1. Got, nope, it's it's a Paramount thing. Paramount. It's Paramount. We could put it on Paramount Plus. It, that's where it, it, that's who owns it. So it's a financial situation. I, I, I get it. I'm just like, mm-hmm. let's make it work somehow, I right? agree. I mean, but with that, we only have four girls. We'd have to go to those no, other. No, no, no. We'd have to girls. go to girls. There's maybe have some new listen ones. Listen to me. There's a girl. Her name is Antonia. All right. She goes by Tony Mac, Tonzi Macaroni. She is. When I tell you, Drita would have to take a back seat to her, and so would I. She would outdo all of us. Funny, gorgeous, talented. She, she does my makeup. She is, she's an incredible makeup artist and makeup and hair, but she is. The real deal. Oh, fucking hysterical. I like that. I love her. And she's gorgeous. Okay, well, this is a good start. Like, everybody would be jealous she's so gorgeous. Okay, this is, let's just put this out to the There's a few of them. There's a few. What about, I mean, this might be a really dumb question, but, like, what is the state of, like, the mob today? Like, New York, Chicago? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I, um, my father passed four and a half. It'll be five years. It's not, I'll always be who I am because my father's my father, but I don't have the interest I used to, um, so I couldn't tell you. Does it exist? I'd have to tell you what mob. <laughs> right. Okay. So you're like, what mob? What mob? I'm sorry to everyone for asking that question. <laughs> I love the mob. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Let's go to Rayo's for some di- pasta. Yes. Rayo's. Right. What about, you know, with this whole mob wife style resurging? Mm-hmm. I mean, I just saw a thing. Drita has this collab with Steve Madden. So, I mean, I say, Renee, hello. We need a Renee I, collab. I mean, let's yeah, pick a brand out there. I don't know what there. Steve was thinking that right there. But um, it, Steve actually was in jail with uh, a friend of my father's, David Cavallo. Really, really nice. God bless him. If that's your collab, go for it. I'm good. Well, I just want to see you in a collab out Thank there. Thank you. Thank you. And what you were saying before, and I'm not coming for her, but Margaret Josephs from New Jersey Housewives yes. just was on page six recently where she was saying, you know, the mob aesthetic is back and I'm jumping on the trend and let me give you advice on how to dress like the mob. And I said the same thing you said. Girl, Jersey Housewives is not mob wives. Nobody's mob wives, period. Point blank, period. Victoria Gotti, mob wives. Uh, you know, Karen, mob wives. Me, mob wives. You're talking about real mob wives. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Ramona, all, all of the women, Angela, that's real. But I think it's phenomenal that everybody, wa- because, yeah. I mean, 
when I look at pictures of my mother, yeah, the fuck I want to look like that. Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when I think of uh, Virginia Hill, for me, it's Virginia Hill. It's like the mob malls. Who doesn't want to dress like that? The um, ginger uh, of, of casino. Who doesn't want to be a mob wife of, you know, even if you're not married to the, you could never be a true mob wife unless you're married to it, obviously. Right. Or However, born, like a daughter. Yes, or born. Sorry. Like, yeah. I'm, like, if you're the only, you're really it when you're born into it. Yeah. That's, that's who the real ones are. However, to look like one? Yeah, I think it's flattering. Dress up, everybody. Dress up. I would like to dress like a mob I got a like huge a surprise wife. coming. I can't talk about it, really? but I'm going to tell you. When it's ready, I... Pff, trust me. Really? I Listen, I am all for the trend, okay? I am all for all of it. I think it's Absolutely. like... Absolutely. Everybody, it's get that check. Dorita, get your check. Everybody, if they're handing out checks, everybody should line up. Absolutely. What do you think is the biggest misconception of the mob? Oh, that it's glitz and glamour. Because it's not. At, for every fur coat, you have to think about all the pain the women went through. So it's not like, oh, well, you were, you know, you know better. Listen, nobody knows. And you, nobody's husband comes home and goes, hey, I just killed so and so. Or, you know, it's not like that. So a woman. Really, like, we were sheltered and kept away from it. I just happen to know because it's in the newspaper. Like, my father, um, I was in, uh, I think it was, like, fourth or fifth grade. I think it was fifth grade when there was an article glued to my desk about my father. And I went home, and I was like, Dad, you know? And he was like, yeah, Renee, don't pay attention. My father didn't say, hey, Renee, I got to tell you something. It didn't work like that. So... I personally think that, um, I forgot the question now. Holy shit. Like the misconception. Misconception. Misconception is. Like that's all everything glitz and is, glamour. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's coming up roses. The only thing coming up roses were at funerals. That, right. That's the truth about it. It's not what everybody thinks it is. Yeah, you get a fur coat, but, but for fucking what? Because your husband's out all night long? Right. Like you knew you just don't ask, don't tell, really. No, you don't ask, period. And you ain't telling nobody shit because you don't know anything to tell. Yeah. It's that simple. So the misconception for me is, yeah, they that a lot of people, I, I'm watching the comments, um, and they're, they, they're negative comments. They, like people are saying, oh, their, their husbands kill people. What the fuck does that have to do with the way we dress? Oh, you mean for this new trend? Yeah, like, what does that right. have to do with the clothes? It's a look. People are getting too personal. This isn't about that. Yes, my father was a part of it. Yes, I've had friends that their fathers were murdered in it. Absolutely. It's tragic, but it's got nothing to do with the way the women dress. This whole world has gone mad, it's okay? Awesome. People have a comment on every fucking yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a mad, mad world like the movie. It's a mad, mad world, but you talk about, like, don't ask, don't tell, like you just said. Well, your favorite, what about Erica Jane? Like, you know, we 